so we decided to come out a little later in the day than usual because have we mentioned how stinking hot it is here? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 10 to 6 and it's still 89 degrees. So we thought we would bring you guys to dinner and show you around our new neighborhood. <laughs> it's a nice gym. Yes. So right around the corner from where we're staying is this awesome gym. We stopped in the other day just to ask how much it costs for a monthly membership. And it is about $54 Canadian per month per person. And it's a yoga, boxing, gym. It's two floors. It has multiples of everything you could probably want in a gym. And lucky enough, we, we have a gym. It's small at our condo, but it's great having this around the corner in case you want to do a yoga class or something. But um, it is an absolutely phenomenal gym, that is for sure. Starbucks. Yeah. One, one of eight coffee shops within 300 meters of our front door. Yes. Jay loves his coffee, so it was nice having the surrounding coffee shops in the area. There's too many. We don't really go to Starbucks, but there are yeah. so many different coffee shops. I thought this coffee shop over here is cute. It's a tea and coffee place. I love the architecture on that building too. They're also different. Beautiful hair salons. This is a newly opened hair salon. Probably get my hair done there at some point. <laughs> I love the wide sidewalks. Yes. No tripping. <laughs> no open sewers here that we found. Yeah. We really like this area i mean we have been just walking in the last couple of days just walking around the neighborhood getting to know the neighborhood and what's here but um there's a lot of conveniences that are here so so far so good i think yeah we, yeah. Were, we were originally looking in the mayan area because we wanted to be down close to all the kind of touristy stuff and the busyness but really it's funny we're on the west side of the river and we're only like a four or five minute scooter ride from the mayan area where we were staying so it's really yeah it it's seems not like so far, we're, it's not like not. we're far from anything we're still close enough we can just pop over there to hit all the restaurants and wander yeah. around at the exactly. busy, busy evenings and stuff or if we wanted to go to the beach we can travel to the beach yeah it's only a we couple minutes further yeah. we're really close to the river and from our gym you can see a great view of the dragon bridge which is really cool you can see it from the pool as well yeah. that's kind of cool yeah. But yeah, I, don't I know. mean this area this within within uh, five to seven minute walk, we can get everything we need. Yeah, it's great. There's everything, groceries, coffee, lots of food. Um, there's lots of Western food and Vietnamese food. I don't know, and we're only 850 meters from the Dragon Bridge. We walk there and walk around. There's a big loop. What we do around the river. There's a nice walking bridge. About an hour, about an hour walk across the bridge down to the yeah. other one and around and back there, please. Yeah. Good to do at night when it's a little cooler. Another coffee shop. Yep. The Cups, the Cups Coffee. We've seen that a couple of times. There's a Kmart. Kmart. It's like a like a Kmart. There's a it's like a variety store. And we just happened to stumble upon this. It's called Full Market. It's like a grocery store, and it was an excellent grocery store. I can't believe, we stopped there the other day and I can't believe some of the prices that we found on their fruits and vegetables. So we loaded up on some of those. <laughs> I, thought it was, and, uh, I thought it was just a convenience store, but it actually yeah, but has, it has quite a few groceries. Yeah. And looking at stuff, it was cheaper to buy it there than to go to like the Lottie Mart, the big grocery store. So, okay, we got to cross the road again. <laughs> okay. like that across the street. St. Corey is a cute place. Yes, this building here. This architecture. Yeah. So if you go straight down this Euro street. Village. Yeah, Euro Village Street. It's a cute little cul-de-sac. It's not too far from where we're at. There's a great little restaurant up here called the Maya Restaurant. 
We went there last night and I had a chicken salad and it was delicious. Might be Mia. Mia? Maya? Maya? Mia? I don't know. Somebody will correct us in the comments, I'm sure. <laughs> no matter which one you call it. Yeah. Yeah, they have a nice, great menu. Uh, a lot of, like, you know, you can get local dishes and you can still get pastas, pizzas, paninis, burgers, yes. steak. Lots to choose from. Lots to choose it's from. It's supposed to be a good good place for breakfast and we'll probably test that, that breakfast theory. Breakfast looks awesome. There's yeah. like a whole page of different breakfasts you could choose that were 60,000 like dong, which yeah. is like 350. Yeah. So. This is the full mart that I was talking choose. about. Full market. I always want to call it a full mart. Full market. Yeah. Another pharmacy place. close by. I don't know. There's a big pharmacy up on this street. Yep. Pet shop, if you need it. <laughs> always a bike shop. Yes, there's always a bike repair shop. Oh, not a shop. I don't know if you need it either. In a little restaurant. Which we shouldn't eat. No. We, have, uh, we actually switched out our PCX that we got on the first day. We wanted a lead originally, and they had rented them all out. So we ended up having the PCX for only a couple of days and then ended up trading it back for the lead. So we're pretty happy with that, eh? Yeah, the lead's just handy for around town. It's got a big storage compartment underneath, and they're generally cheaper to rent long term. So yeah. for what we're doing running around town, it's perfect. If we want to go farther out of town, we'll just rent a bigger bike for those days. Yeah. Spoiler alert, we've already been to the steakhouse that we're taking you to <laughs> once. And it was so good, we're going back again. We might go back every day. It's kind of a little bit it's <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a hidden gem. Uh, it does have quite a few reviews on Google, so it's not really that hidden. But it's actually hidden in that, in that it's hard to find. It doesn't stand out. They didn't. No, uh, we not... walked right by and had to look around for a while the first yeah. time we came here. Yeah. But once you find it, you're good. Yeah, we're good. So, this is the street. We're walking down the middle of the street. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I don't know why. But it's quite dead around here. But it's still got a cute little vibe. So this place right here is it. How cute is that? Right? So this is the sign. <laughs> right here. That is the only sign that's out in English that we could read anyway. <laughs> but here we are. Xin chào. Do you want to sit here? How cute is this place? We've been to Vietnam. We found it kind of tricky to find like protein meals. Inexpensive. And, yeah, at an affordable price. This is what I'm getting. It's Australian beef steak, 200 grams for 138,000 VMD. That's seven dollars and fifty cents Canadian. And it comes with like a side salad. You can choose sauces. Um, they have a pepper sauce, a mushroom sauce, a barbecue sauce, and cheese sauce. <laughs> Never heard of cheese sauce on a steak. Um, and you can choose how you want your steak cooked. And the best part about this restaurant is they give you cold cloths when you come in. <laughs> they also have really good looking burgers on their menu and pasta. They have really fruity flavored drinks. I'll probably just end up getting a Coke Zero, but these drinks look amazing. It's Coke Zero. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, don't shoot me, but I order my steak well done. There's a little bit of pink. I can live with that. <laughs> Jay's looks pretty good too. It's medium well. Okay. It's lovely. It's very no, well it's for good. medium well. Yeah. Six. I like that you only get like six fries. Like we don't need a crap load of fries when you have a meal like this. I feel like this is a good amount of food for one sitting. Yeah, it's bigger than I thought. Oh, he got mushroom sauce this time. I got pasta, um, pepper sauce. That tastes like Thanksgiving beer. <gasps> I'm not even gay. I should have got the, <laughs> the this mushroom, like mushroom sauce. At all. No? You gotta try oh. it. I'm gonna try it. Okay. You gotta dip it in there. See how red? Look at it. Dip it right in there. I know, yours is better than mine. Maybe they got them mixed up. Look at that. Does that not look like more well done than yours? 
The whole meal with the drink, Coke Zero, is $8.50 Canadian. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> Dinner was good. It was 300 and what? 336,000 dong. Nice. Which uh, was what, 16? 16 bucks? A little 16, over. 17 dollars yeah. altogether? I'm telling you, bucks. great deal. <laughs> it was very good steak. A little bit of salad, a little bit of fries, all you need. I'm not stuffed, no. I'm just right. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. So last Wednesday walk, we did our condo hunting and we went through 16 condos that day. Too many condos that day. Too many condos. And we got a lot of comments about what we actually chose. So we're going to take you to the condo and show you around. We didn't pick any of the 16 from our last video. We ended up going the next day and finding this place. So I'm going to start from the beginning and work our way in. Alrighty. So in short, this is the whole apartment. It's very small, but it has basically everything we needed and the quality of furnishings were really nice. This is the kitchen. It's pretty well set up. We have a beautiful refrigerator, sink, all it comes with all these dishes and pots and pans. The lighting is phenomenal in here as well. The only thing we don't have is a place to hang or put this, the dishes when they're drying. So we ended up ordering one of those today. <laughs> but this is the living room. This is all of our luggage. And I can't believe we travel with this many pairs of shoes, but nice, comfortable couch. It has a big TV, lots of storage. There's even storage for our helmets underneath the coffee table. The bathroom is nice. It's not big, but it does have a lot of storage with under the sink storage has a rain, nice rain shower and like I said it's not very big and I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is the best shower we have had since we've been living in Southeast Asia for the last year so this is the bedroom and the curtains are closed because there is no view really you're actually just looking <laughs> in other people's windows so we keep the curtains closed but I like it because it has this divider. This is what we wanted. We wanted a bed separate to the living space so we could close off the door. And then it's nice that this curtain is here that we can pull the curtain. There's two AC units, which is really nice. We only need to keep one on. It kind of keeps the place cool. It's small enough. And then there's lots of storage, second TV too. And there's a steamer, comes with a steamer. First time we've ever had a steamer. Not that we're gonna use it. <laughs> and lots of storage space in here and then this is where the washer is and then we just hang the stuff to dry here so we had to bump up our budget to 10 million and i think it's totally worth it it has two tvs the best shower we've ever had good furnishings and it also has a gym and a pool up on the top floor we also pay 100,000 vnd for cleaning once a week and we have to pay electricity on top of that. So that's our condo tour, short and sweet. It's a small condo, but it has everything we need and so far, so good. So like I said earlier, we are 850 meters to the Dragon Bridge. And if you're not aware of the Dragon Bridge, it blows fire. That's their famous thing on Saturdays and Sundays at eight, there's a big fire show. And um, we went on the nine. weekend at nine. At nine? It's at nine. It's at nine. And uh, we went on the weekend. So I'm gonna end this video with the dragon blowing fire. And we're gonna keep touring around our neighborhood. So hopefully you'll join us next week. Bye guys. It's really dark right here. <laughs>